Yes, I am. Thank you so much, Olabisi Oni. That was very insightful conversation there. Welcome to the kitchen, guys. With me is Chef Georgette. She's making her debut this morning. And guess what, people? She is taking us on a trip. We are making Nkobi. You don't, you don't look as excited as I am. And yet you're the one making it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the um, um, ingredients for our recipe this morning. Okay, so I'll take you here. This is beef meat. Okay. Okay, so I've already cooked beef, well seasoned. Okay. So I'll just take you through the process. You can either use... Okay, so I'm just going to put it in here, yeah, so that we can, like, get a good okay. view of it. Ooh, that looks good. Looks really good. So is this any part of the goat's meat or just goat's meat when you go to the market? Well, what I did here, I did, like, assorted. Oh, assorted, yes, okay. So it wasn't particular. But if you go by the head, mm. that means you're doing isteem. Ah, okay, isteem is goat's head. Then other parts of the of the goat's meat is inkobi. Is that that's what you use for the inkobi? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Now let's talk about the other ingredients. Okay, so you have utasi. Okay. You have your crayfish, your bell pepper. Then you have kimirum. Kimirum pepper. pepper yes. Okay. This is potage. Okay. Akao. So what did you do here? Because it's in liquid form. Okay. What I did, um, I had to grind it. Okay. With yeah. a stone. Is that the only <laughs> thing you can use the granules? stone. Water. This, this is what I use. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. So you okay. ground it into powder form yes. and then you mix it in your water. Allow it to dissolve. Oh, great. Okay. So you have your onions for garnishing. Okay. Your seasoning, palm oil. Okay. This is uba. Uba. Ooh. I am so excited about this recipe this morning. Okay, so let's get cooking. Now that our goat's meat has been properly seasoned and already ready, right? What's next? Okay, so we'll just go straight to the point. All right, so um, if you missed out on the ingredients earlier when you have it right there on your screen, if it's something that you would like to try out later on this week, I would be so excited to see what you have done. You have your salt, you have utazi, you have uba. Uba is very rich in a lot of you know health benefits it's got like nutrients that will instantly boost your immune system you have potash you have onions pepper crayfish palm oil good meats very very easy very very you know accessible easily accessible ingredients right so let's start cooking what are we starting with the first thing we... our pots. The pots okay so what do we do i'm going to be adding my palm oil okay that's good palm oil yes. how you know good palm oil is in the thickness you see the rich. Now, when you're doing this, you have it. to be careful. Okay, how do you mean careful? Yes, because there's this question is, do you heat it? Aha. Uh -huh. So, do you heat it? No. Okay. Once you do that, it separates. Uh, so, you don't get that tick. Tick. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the trick. You see why you should always tune into the show, guys? We have, you know, these hacks to give you, you know, and this is how you best prepare your unkobi. Do not steam it, do not allow it to go through any heat whatsoever. Just use your palm oil. So now that we have our palm oil, what's next? So the amount of your palm oil determines the quantity of your... Aha, uh -huh. oh, okay, yeah. okay. So with this... What is the role of the potash? Okay, we're looking for the thickness. Oh, it just gives Although it extra... Although it has different um, functions, okay. but for here, we're looking for that thickness. Okay, okay. Do you need any help? I could help you pour it in while you're, you know. Maybe a sift. Okay. What do you need? A sift. Oh, okay. So you need to um, filter it. Okay. So I will just check around for it. Okay. Is there any other thing we could use? Well, I mean, we'll get the um, shifter I later on. Careful. Okay. 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 Just mix it in. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. Okay, so we are pouring our potash in. Yeah, um, Please bear in mind that our potash had already been um, grounded into powder form and then dissolved in water. Um, and that's it. So it's basically to give it that extra thickness. Yes. And then what's going in next? 
and you can see the color changes. Oh, too. it changes. To orange. Okay, you know what? I think we'll just have to pause here for a minute because it is important for everyone to be a part of what is happening here in the kitchen. This is not a recipe that you should miss out on, guys. We'll be right back. Stay. <laughs> so let's talk about the ingredients for uh, the Nkobe. Okay, so roll right again. Okay. So this is actually goat meat, mm. but not the head. Okay. Okay, so you can use different parts to actually create this. Okay, so what what exactly did you do here with the goat meat? What's in it? Because I see that it's already done. Okay, what I did, I just seasoned it. Okay. It. So okay. it's already cooked. Mm. So everything is set. Okay. So it's just there for me to really... Mixing okay, and great. Mixing. And then earlier on, uh, before the, well, before, we the, that was our, the first hour of the show, we had our palm oil in here, and then? Potash. Potash. Which now, into... okay, so let's see, let's take this off and let's see what, so it gives you that orangey yes. color. So how much of the potash do you need to put in the palm oil though? For this, mm. you can take maybe one tablespoon, you're good to go. Oh, you're good to go, great. So what's next? Okay, so I'm about to do the mixing. Okay, so for our mixing, we have our salt, we have our freshly sliced pepper, sure. and we have our seasoning cubes, and we have our onions. Okay, um, so let's quickly do the mixing, and then um, okay, so let's let quickly me just do this. say something about the potash. Okay. Not everybody takes potash. Okay, not everybody takes potash. So you can go with bicarbonate. Okay, okay, as an another option. Yes, or okay. Or we use the um, score of the goat meat. Oh, okay. Bring. With the okay, you use it as your thickener. Yes. All right, fantastic. So much we have learned on the show with Chef Georgette. This is Chef Georgette, and this morning she's made for you unkwabi. Mm. Mm. This is a meal that you put, you don't just say it, you have to say it. Uh, it's a passion. No, passion. Unkwabi. Unkwabi. Is it unkwabi? Yes. Unkwabi. And am I permitted? I think yeah. it's from the okay. Igbo, yes, it Igbo is. tribe of Nigeria. Yes. Mm. It is. And, and can I say Dalu? Dalu. Oh. To the chef. Dalu. 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 Chef. Okay, so please you um, you enjoy. No, she <laughs> so. We're going to get a, get a flat taste. plate uh, and a fork. From where do yeah. I start? Where yeah. do you start from? Okay. She can put some of that in. Yes, in the yeah, plate, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, nice. Because we nice. Nice. someone help me put this in the plate. Okay. Dismantle it. Let me. Yes. Yes. I really Thank dismantle. You. That's the word. Dismantle it. Yeah. Woo! Oh. I did that. There you go. All right. Oh, you have there a book already. Mm -hmm. I have. So uh, I'm not sure if you'd like to go this way or this way. <laughs> Let me take this so here one. Here you go. Let me take this one and you can. Okay. You can. From here? Yes. A small one? Yes. Uh, take from yeah, here. the small one. Why did you put it on the plate? Exactly. I think it doesn't fall off. Yeah. I hope it doesn't fall off. Yeah. I think this one is. Yeah, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Fantastic. There you go. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. So let's I'll be joining you after bit. that because I also wow. have some of this in chef. So this is which part of the... <laughs> which part of the... This is like the tongue? What hey. type? Doing tongue, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it different. I know, I know, uh, I know. So what part of the, the animal is Nkobi? Is the... Nkobi, uh, not really that you have to use goat. You can oh. actually use cow leg. Oh, uh, cow yeah. leg. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Oh. You can actually use cow leg. So what do you think? What Let me think? take a second. Help. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. That's often a good sign. Yeah, it's yeah. a very it's, good it's, sign. Is this one goat or cow? It's yeah. goat. goat. This, this is goat. I want to be sure there's tomatoes in it. Yeah. <laughs> this goat, this thing looks sweet because it looks like the goat is was stubborn. Yeah. Honestly. Like